uh, from the beginning. So I get the voice that comes in my head that says that you missed this, that sucked, that sucked. Oh, you get a glimpse of yourself on the screen. Wow, that looks pretty fucking shitty. <laughs> I was going crazy. Like I spoke to friends of mine that are on like anti-anxiety medication. Yeah. I'd be like, do I like is this just gonna be my life forever? Like every day I'm gonna walk out and be like, I hate, like it was it was really bad. Or I'm gonna see a friend today, or any all of the fun things about life. And when I'm having depression, it's like none of those things are exciting or seem worth it. The world hasn't properly responded to mental health. Depression, where do I start? It is something I have dealt with my whole life. Even though I'm in such a better place now than it used to be, it is still an everyday battle. It was not until about two or three years ago that I started feeling, I guess you would say, normal. Where I was not feeling this cloud of thoughts draining me every step of my way. It was once I realized that this was not the normal, I took a step back and analyzed my life and narrowed down what drains me, both mentally and physically. And what constantly drags me down into this state. It took years of being taken advantage of and hurt by so many people to realize that I need to walk away and only take care of myself. All these years, I thought happiness was just a myth. It was only when I left those things, I felt true happiness and a love for life. So I was finally putting me first. It was the hardest thing I had to do, honestly, but the pain was only temporary. Now, I'll never go back. At the end of the day, no one's going to have my back, like I do. So someone must look out for my best intentions and what's going to benefit me in the long run. It takes time to have some habits that I've had my whole life changed because I realized they weren't beneficial to me. And I had to adapt to live life without it. Now I focus on the things that make me feel better and bring me happiness. Like putting all that focus on my dogs, working out, making videos, or painting. See, you attract people around you based on your energy. And now that I feel more in tune with myself, I feel as if I found those people you know, the ones that make you forget about the world and all the crazy thoughts running in your head. And as if I feel safe with them and safe with myself, allowing me to be able to enjoy life. Now, I have my bad days, don't get me wrong, but my good days outweigh the bad ones by a lot. This sickness or mental illness of depression and anxiety, this will never go away. It'll be with me my whole life. You just gotta go through your own journey and figure out how you can learn to live with it. And what's best for you to keep going with it. You know, once you do that, don't make those bad days more and more tolerable. Where they begin to disappear. 
Having a good support system is very valuable. But you can't rely on people. You gotta become your own support system. Because you know yourself better than anyone else. And you're not the only one that's going through something. You never know what someone else is going through. You gotta make sure to check up on your friends too. Every day I have to motivate and push myself to get up and work out every day. Even if it's after a hard day at work, I must be the one to make time out of my crazy schedule to be creative and give myself that break from life. What people do not talk about enough is taking medication to help you organize these crazy thoughts. I take Lexapro to help control my mind because it's always running a million miles a minute and helps silence my loud thoughts and voices telling me that I'm not good enough. It helps me organize all those thoughts and continue on throughout my day. I feel as if medications should not be looked so down upon because if you have any other type of illness, they're always recommended. But something going on inside your brain, they don't really appreciate it enough. Now, talking it out with someone, whether it be a friend, a family member, or a therapist, it really does help. And I'm not the biggest fan of cleaning up about my emotions or what's going on inside my head. However, from what I've learned, it not only helps me feel relieved to get it off my chest, but it also allows the person you're talking to to have a better understanding of you. And it might change, you know, their views on things. I make these videos and other random ones, silly goofy ones, so that if one person, you know, just one person, happens to stumble across it and needed to hear something that I'm saying to motivate them to want to change or get better in their mental health or if they just want to laugh at me and my friends being crazy and goofy I just want to help someone just one person now with all that said and done I want to open the world to really caring about others mental health and to be considerate of others so you never know what someone is going through unless they tell you themselves the world really hasn't properly responded to mental health and that should change especially with the rapid rate social media is going it's just a lot more easier to drag other people down say mean hurtful things it hurts me to know that this is going on, as I have so many family members that are growing up in this world. Little kids, and I never want them to feel as I've felt my whole life. The world needs to become a better place, in many ways. And normalizing, seeking help for those struggling internally, is just one out of the many. People, it was like they were like this, and all of a sudden they felt free to, to speak on it. When I, I got back above water, when I stopped suffocating myself, I was drowning. And once I released my truth, once I spoke my truth, I started to float back. <laughs> you know, that's what it is. It's luggage, it's baggage, and, and, and it will weigh you down. You better un to pop those trunks and get that mess out and deal with it. It's okay. We're human. No one's perfect. They're, the perfection is the perfect lie. When my therapist said that, my wings sprouted. <laughs> it can't rain forever. Yes, yes. The sun is gonna shine again, yes. and sometimes it's gonna shine so bright on you when it does. Able to ask anyone for help, and everyone has to help someone if they need it. You know, starting that conversation, you don't have to make it super serious right away. Everything that you're wanting to talk about, but yeah, therapy helps big time. I'm able to dissect things and, all right, go back in time. All right, this is family. This is this. This is that. I didn't just, I start having a better understanding of why I react a certain way and why I do things. And 